tribal nations in Arizona. ASU's campuses are situated on the homelands of many indigenous peoples, including the Akamel Atham and Peeposh. Arizona State University recognizes the original inhabitants of these lands and recognizes that they still reside throughout the Phoenix metropolitan area. And we recognize the impact of their wisdom and generosity towards us. If you've flown into the valley, you have undoubtedly seen the Salt River Project canals that surround the area. Those modern day canals follow the framework of the canals originally constructed by ancestral Sonoran desert people, Uhukam, to make this area both livable and a place where peoples could thrive. We acknowledge that the modern day indigenous nations that descended from the ancestral peoples are the original inhabitants of this land. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our graduates, our families, friends. I want to begin by thanking our ASU Brass uh, Quintet for playing today. Thank you. Beautiful. And we'd also like to begin by thanking and welcoming back our uh, alumni. So um, if you're an alumnus of the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts, the college of architecture or the College of Fine Arts, please stand and remain standing. I can't see anything, so I'm hoping you're standing. If you're an alumni from any other college at Arizona State University, please stand and join me in welcoming back all of our alumni who are with us, and we thank you for your past, present, and future support of all of our students and of our university. Uh, a reminder that while we're inside today, uh, we'd like everybody to remain masked. Um, so we're going to begin uh, with a quick president, a quick president, a quick uh, message from our president, Michael Crow, and a quick look at who we are as the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts. Hi, Michael Crow here, president of Arizona State University. I just want to say congratulations to all of you. You're graduating, you're moving on, you're moving on to the next phase of your learning. You know, our job here at the university is not to produce a skill set or a trade skill set or prepare you to do a specific job. Our job is really to prepare your mind to learn, uh, to uh, learn anything, basically, to be adaptive, to be uh, capable of adjusting, to be creative. And then out of that, we also have the skills and the tools and the devices and the ideas and the mechanisms that then help you to do specific jobs. But really, I just want to congratulate you for your perseverance, uh, for your effort, for your focus, for your adaptability, because now uh, through the great pandemic and so forth and so on, you've really shown that you can adjust, you can uh, uh, make, it, make it work, make it keep going. So just congratulations. Uh, all of you should be thanking your families and so forth, but let me thank your families, your friends. Uh, let me make certain that you know that these people are uh, the people that back you up, they support you. Uh, give them a hug, uh, say thank you, uh, tell them that it's really important. Look at this as a moment in your life where people really stepped up to help you to be able to be here. And then here at the university, you know, our faculty have just done fantastic things. I mean, uh, this is a rough and tumble world filled with new ideas, new theories, new ways that things happen, new understanding, new complexities, new social complexities, new technical complexities, new biological complexities, all these things. And our faculty who are fantastic human beings have been there adjusting and adapting and figuring out how to teach and learn and create discovery-oriented and create creativity-oriented environments. So I just want to thank them also. 
And then obviously all of you came here uh, uh, taught by someone before you got here, your parents, your teachers, uh, other colleges or community colleges that you went to. I wanna thank all the teachers that helped you to be ready to be here. We're just so proud of you. I'm personally so proud of you and all that you represent relative to the university itself. Uh, there's a picture uh, of uh, uh, your class, the class of 2017 for the undergraduates. Uh, first selfie, it was a great day, uh, that freshman welcoming day, that first year student uh, welcoming day. And I just wanna say that the time has passed and your life is being launched and moving forward and I'm just so excited for you. In fact, I'm envious of where you are. You're gonna, the things you're going to see, the things you're going to experience are just unbelievable. Unbelievable, the opportunities that you're going to have. We're going to get the planet moving in the right direction. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, move ourselves uh, forward and mature socially and culturally. We're gonna grow into higher levels of, of understanding what uh, uh, equality is all about and justice is all about and liberty is all about. We're gonna evolve our democracy and evolve our economy in ways that are gonna be more responsive and more inclusive and, and, and just more successful overall. And you're gonna be a part of all of that. And I'm very, very excited about that. I wanna make sure that all of you think and remember uh, 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 about all of the things that have gone on in this pandemic, uh, all of the people that have uh, suffered and been challenged and, and been hurt and, and realize your special position, your special status, and that you take this moment, you take this experience that you've been through, uh, whether or not you experienced it personally or it was uh, more broadly around you, but certainly in the community and the nation and the globe, and you think through, well, what have I learned and what can I do? And where am I in time and space and what can I contribute? And so uh, I think the, the last thought I'd like to leave you with is uh, not the cliche of go out and do something great. It's really the cliche of go out and learn. Uh, 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 and I mean that, and let's make that the new cliche. Go out and learn. Take what you've gotten from us at whatever level that you've engaged us, your enhanced learning capability, and now really accelerate that. Help all these things that you're hearing about, all these things that you're experiencing, all these stresses and strains that are going on uh, both in Arizona, in the United States and around the world, the only way that we're ever gonna make progress is by coming up with new ideas, coming up with new ways to do things, new ways to solve things, new ways to make things happen, new ways to come together. So go out and use your ability to learn, to learn new things and to make those happen. So let me congratulate you all again on your graduation and say thank you to your families and your friends and wish you the best as you move forward and just ask that uh, whatever you need as you're moving forward with your life, if you can't get it wherever you are, just write back to us uh, and we'll see if we can help you from your old uh, Arizona State University. Congratulations.
uh, bright lights, the stage, the funky music. It took everything I had not to get up and start dancing. <laughs> but here we are. Thankful for you, I did not. Um, we are here together again, and I have missed being in the same room with you for graduation. It's such a gift to hear your voices and to feel the excitement as you approach this much-anticipated uh, finish line. Now, today is a big day. It's one of only a handful of milestones in your lives, and you have practiced and worked hard. Uh, by my calculation, well over 10,000 hours of practicing, prototyping, creating, revising, designing, presenting. You have faced many obstacles and challenges. You've had faculty who told you to try again because the first time wasn't good enough. You had assignments that seemed probably impossibly difficult. You had late nights and early mornings, probably more of the former than the latter. Um, you had collaborators and teammates who drove you crazy. And you had those that helped you soar to new heights. An education from the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts is as difficult, an education as difficult a major in any college, at any university, anywhere in the world. We have expected the best from you, and all of you have delivered. Congratulations. All right, so I want this moment to be etched in your minds and hearts forever. I want you to own the moment. So graduates, here's what I want you to do. I want you to pick a word that identifies who you are right now. It could be a feeling, an adjective, it could be a goal. And then on the count of three, you're going to shout it as loud as you can to all of your faculty, our staff, to your families and friends. So are you ready? Have, do you have your word? OK, here we go. No, no, I haven't counted to three yet. <laughs> One. Two, three. All right, I heard transformation, courage, hope. There are about four people over here who said drunk. <laughs> you are sitting here today because you found something inside of you, a pride, work ethic, a creative drive, a desire not to let a classmate down. You have persisted and you have succeeded, and no matter what comes next, you can graduate knowing that you have that confidence to walk confidently in the world, to meet the world head on. But you have not prevailed alone. You would not be here if there were not friends and fab family and parents and siblings who were cheering you on along your route. So let's take a moment and reverse that cheer and on the count of three, say thank you loudly to all the people who are here to celebrate and to support you. So one, two, three, let's hear some cheer. And if you have any rousing cheer left, and I hope you do, uh, I'd like you to thank your professors and instructors who have given you everything they have, they wake up every day with the only goal to make sure that your journey is possible. Uh, they care about you, they love you, they are in your court for the rest of your lives. Please thank them for all that they've done. So today's a day of unchecked emotions. Uh, there'll be tears of joy, there'll be tears of pride, tears of loss as you leave this place that have been your home and your friends. For me, the last few weeks have brought plenty of weepy moments as I've watched you, all of our students, do remarkable and amazing things. At a dinner uh, last week for my donors council, we had five brilliant students from our dance program perform dances that involved the traditions of hip-hop and salsa and vogue and Afro-Cuban salsa. Um, and afterwards, some of those dance students spoke about their journey, some from border communities, many first generation, who said this was the only university that allowed them to embrace their traditions and their heritage 
Their voices and identities were celebrated here. They were welcomed completely, and they thrived, and their lives changed, and they are now moving confidently and dancing confidently in the world, and it was powerful to hear, and it makes us all realize why we're here. Saturday night, I watched the Senior Film Showcase. The films were extraordinary, first rate, requiring incredible coordination, technical expertise, and storytelling. And one student presented a film about anxiety and depression, and afterwards, they came up and spoke about how the story reflected her own personal struggles and how affirming it was to have 20 other classmates work with her collaboratively to tell her story. I, I am so moved, I am so honored to be able to work with so many caring and committed faculty and staff to enable this kind of love and creativity and purpose and community. We are an amazing place. All of you graduates today are, are, are finishing with the skills that are necessary in our 21st century. When we surveyed 500 of the top CEOs, the number one skill that they said that they were looking at for uh, future employers, employees is creativity. So let's just do a little test. This will be your last test, and then we'll let you go on into the world. Um, creativity, that's one of the core competencies. How many, of you feel, how many of you feel that you were able to express your creativity in your coursework and assignments and projects while you've been with us. Raise your hand if you've been able to express your creativity. All right, I can't see you, but that looks like about 99%, and that 1% that wasn't, we have some exercises uh, with Play-Doh uh, behind, <laughs> behind the stage. Um, turns out when we, in, when we survey uh, all majors, about 80% of design arts majors say this happens on a regular basis. It should, of course, that's what we're about. Only 10% of economics majors say that they're able to uh, use creativity in their coursework. How about ambiguity? How many of you were able to take an assignment in a new direction? You were given something ambiguous and you just sort of had to figure out what you wanted to do with it. So raise your hand again. Okay, guess how many biology majors said they were able to take a, court, a uh, assignment in multiple directions? 3%. How about persistence? Okay, this is a trick question. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have given up easily a piece of music that was too hard to perform and so you gave up or a design puzzle you couldn't figure it out. You just said, I'm not going to do it. How about a role in a play that was challenging that you decided not to try out for because it was too hard? Or some computer code that you couldn't crack? Or you couldn't figure out how to cast a sculpture, so you just decided not to do it? Or a paper topic you chose not to write about because you couldn't figure out how to advance? How many of you fit in that category? None. Because you persist, you have an unbelievable stick-to-itness. Stick you embrace challenges. How about failure? How many of you failed at something the first time and then had to revise and redo it? Everybody. Because we are a school of failure. <laughs> And that's the only way you'll ever do anything important in the world, is to embrace failure. How about empathy? Raise your hand if you thought about someone else when building something or expressing something, writing something. Have you ever thought about someone else, an audience? Someone who had to understand what you were trying to express? You've taken other people's perspectives. It turns out that is increasingly rare. In a study by the University of Michigan, there's been a decline of 40% in college students' empathy, their ability to take other people's perspectives, but not here at the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts. That's what we do. That's how we build. That's how we create. We have to think about others. That's why we do what we do. You know, our Declaration of Independence guarantees life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, we're pretty good at, at uh, 
at pursuing our private happiness. In fact, much of what you've done, much of what you do in the world will make people happy. Your creative expression will bring joy. Your designs, the beauty, the entertainment, the stories. But who in society is responsible for the public happiness? Who can help us imagine our collective future? An optimistic we. This is really interesting because it turns out that most Americans are, are optimistic about their own futures. Seventy percent say, the future looks good for me. But most Americans are pessimistic about the we, about our shared destiny. So we have an optimistic me and a pessimistic we. Well, here's the most important thing for you to remember today. You are the only ones graduating across this university who have signed up to ensure the public happiness, our collective culture. That's one of the most important things for arts and design, to build our shared culture, our shared stories, the connection to each other, understanding new ways to engage, new ways to advance our future together. Our democracy depends on you. Our expectations were unbelievably high when you were here with us, but they're equally high as you leave as alumni. That's just the way it goes. When you sign up and you choose to study and master the skills of building culture, you have signed up for the rest of your life because that is the work of our human journey together and it is work that never ends and we know that you will take that forward and continue to knit us together as a society, as a species, as a democracy. Congratulations graduates, we are so proud of all that you have done. All right, we'd like to, to recognize a few of our students graduating today who have inspired our Herberger Institute faculty with their creativity, their aspirations, all of their hard work while they've been with us at ASU. These students were chosen out of many nominations to represent the best of the Herberger Institute's mission and vision articulated by our design principles. We've asked the leadership from their respective schools to present these students with this special recognition. It is my honor and privilege to recognize Lucas Knowles as one of two awardees in the category of Outstanding Research and Scholarship in Design and the Arts. Lucas is graduating today with a Master of Fine Arts with a concentration in ceramics. Precision-oriented and a problem solver, from his artwork to his teaching, Lucas is driven by curiosity. His artwork seamlessly crosses boundaries, combining aesthetics, technology, architecture, science, and design. Lucas has received several awards in his time here at ASU, and we are excited to see where the future takes him. Congratulations, Lucas. It is an honor to recognize Yonanda duven Hacher as the second awardee in the category of Outstanding Research and Scholarship in Design and the Arts. Yonanda is graduating today with a Master of, Des of Science in Design. 
Born and raised in Johannesburg, South Africa, Yonanda learned the importance of hard work and its, inherently, and its inherent ability to strengthen character. She came to ASU to pursue inclusive and human-centered design. These values continue to influence her, her style, uh, which focuses on clarity of form and detail, complexity of composition, and balance and symmetry. Her master thesis delved into a deeper understanding of how aesthetic preferences are formed and how they drive behavior and choices, all the while while running her own business. Pretty amazing. We're deeply proud of Yonanda, and we wish her the best in the future. Congratulations. Good morning. It is my honor and privilege to recognize Dante McGilvery for outstanding community engagement. Dante is the first African-American male to earn a PhD in theater, in theater for youth and community. Right? How many family are here for you? I just met, yeah. Uh, Dante's research includes uh, developing equity coalitions that center black, indigenous, and people of color at pre predominantly white institutions, decentering whiteness in theater education, representation, and liberation of BIPOC students in institutions of higher ed. Uh, black theater, I, thanks. <laughs> and using theater as a tool for activism. He has 20 years of experience as a playwright, theater educator, and 13 years as an ordained minister. Dante's unique teaching experiences have afforded him opportunities to teach theater courses, write and perform plays in diverse spaces such as universities, seminaries, churches, local performance theaters, the National Baptist Convention, and K-12 schools. He leads with love, blending spiritual care and com with community care in all that he does. And, and on a personal level, uh, the students teach us, and I've learned a lot from Dante this year. So congratulations, Dante. It is also my honor to recognize Angie Valencia, graduating with a Bachelor of Music in Music Learning and Teaching as the Outstanding Design and Arts Educator. Angie is a Mexican-American string educator who is passionate about equity and inclusion in music education and a voice for advocating and demanding for culturally responsive teaching. A notable mariachi performer and violinist, she is leading an effort to include mariachi within standardized curricula, and she has embodied these core beliefs in her work. She's participated in renowned mariachi conferences and co-created a collaborative senior recital dedicated to showcasing and celebrating Latinx composers and musicians. She has engaged in the community as a teacher in the ASU String Project, serving as a role model, especially for Latinx children. Through leading classes every Saturday morning, Angie developed her teaching skills, and she's accepted a job teaching high school orchestra in Tucson. Congratulations, Angie. Okay, okay, 
Here we are. It's my honor to recognize Shannon Sons for excellence and innovation in creative practice. Shannon's graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Film, Film and Media Production. She's deeply informed by a commitment to equity and justice and has been a vocal advocate on behalf of her community and speaking out about issues and challenging challenges facing young women in the film industry and in the film school. Her advocacy for safe set protocols literally opened the door for many of her female colleagues to speak up about their own safety and experiences in production in a way that has influenced our ongoing production protocols and practices. Shannon oversaw the production of multiple capstone films and assisted her peers in making their storytelling dreams a reality. Above and beyond these immense collaborative efforts, Shannon has also been excellent in taking courses in writing, directing, and documentary production. Keep an eye on her. Congratulations on this recognition, Shannon. This first, then I can do this. The ASU Alumni Association serves the university by connecting, uniting all of our alumni, striving to create a stronger alumni and university community. The association recognizing, recognizes achievements of ASU's newest alums by presenting outstanding graduate awards, which highlight exceptional academic performance, skillful attention to meaningful extracurricular activities, and service to the institute. And this fall, the outstanding graduate student for Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts is Re. Lindegren, <laughs> graduating with a Master's of Fine Arts in Dance and Interdisciplinary Digital Media and Performance, Re is described by her faculty as a shining star. She has been a dedicated member of multiple communities working for diversity, equity, and inclusion, an active contributor, planner, and performer for the Come As You Are Vogue Ball in downtown Phoenix. Re maintained a full-on practice as a hip hop dancer, community builder, scholar um, in contemporary dance, somatics, yoga practices, we're gonna do a move for you, uh, the development of her forward thinking pedagogy with the human body and technology have also been fed by these aspects of her arts practice and her creative research. She is a much loved, she is much loved and respected by her students and by her faculty. Um, and so congratulations, Ree, on this extraordinary achievement. The Alumni Association has also presented the Moore Award since 1901 to those graduates with a 4.0 GPA completing their coursework towards their degree in eight consecutive semesters. This semester we have nine students that are receiving this award. We'd like to ask all of our Moore Award recipients to please stand and be recognized. Please join me once again in congratulating all of these students for their accomplishments. All right, we have reached the moment in our ceremony where we get to recognize our graduates. So if, you're, if your feet are asleep, 
Now's the time to wake them up because we're bringing you up on stage. We can't wait to uh, give you your uh, certificates and to wish you well. Um, we'll begin with our doctoral students. We will excuse the graduates on stage so they may get into place with their classmates. Jean Gansel, senior lecturer from the Sydney Poitier New American Film School, will assist with presenting our students. Graduates may remove their face coverings while receiving their diploma cover and taking their portrait photos. Masks should be worn at all other times. Hats off to you, graduates. Do I read this first? Okay. We now recognize students who have earned a doctoral degree from the School of Music, Dance, and Theater. Heather Landis, the director of the school, will join Dean Tepper in congratulating you. Okay. Ramon Alfonso Cocobang Soberano. Shinyue Li. Morgan Shelley. Danica S. Marlin. Chen Shi Jiang. Deem Lananakai. Please join me in congratulating the master's degree recipients in the School of Art. That was music dancing theater. All right. <laughs> Donta McGilvery. Please join me in congratulating the master's degree recipient in the School of Arts, Media, and Engineering. Ah. Yes, these are doctoral students. I should probably just get my script out. Okay, thank you. Please join me in congratulating the master's degree recipient in the School of Arts, Media and Engineering. Latifa Aliaha. Okay. Please join me in congratulating the students with a master's degree in music, dance, and theater. Christopher John Ross. Allison Taylor Parks. Elisa Marie Reed. Ree Lindegren. <laughs> Eric Lionel Cureno.
Please join me in congratulating the master's degree recipients from the School of Music, Dance, and Theater. I am pleased to announce the recipients of a master's degree from the Design School. Paula Sanguinetti, director of the school, will join Team Tepper in congratulating you. Jonanda Duvigny. Brian Noel Esparza. Alisa Giselle Hernandez. Ladon Bentley. Tejus Vita Bardwaj. Vyashuli Kalru. Donella May Quijano. Carolina Azusenu Haras. Nita Arjli Patadia. Zuri Praful Nimdeo. Yesenia Noemi Leon. Aditya Dalal. Travis J. Andron. James Spizak. Kyle D'Souza. Tesher S. Cohen. David Ventura. Samuel Joseph Markle. Abigail J. Peters. Gisenyu Karantseva. <laughs> Lucas J. Knowles. <laughs> Start and now. Ah, and now, will all graduate degree recipients please rise? Please join me in congratulating all the graduate degree recipients in the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts. Thank you, graduates. You may be seated. We will now recognize the bachelor's degree recipients. Forrest Solis, interim director of the school, will join Associate Dean Stephanie Etheridge Woodson in congratulating you. All right. Cole Carson. Eilina <laughs> Carey Wittenstein.
Alyssa Stewart. Keelan R. Miller. Rocio Isabel Dorador Madrigal. Inessa Yvette Gastelum. Winnie Farley. Naomi Dubon. Jasmine Makatange Johnson. Christian Ashley Austria. Yvonne Cambrell Hinson. Fernanda Velasquez. Iris Eileen Pacheco Flores. Gilbert G. Lopez Jr. Michaela Calata. Kayla Melendez. Katie Ashley Bonin. Brianna Carolina Pacheco. Dominique Ray Perez. Lisa Mason. Emma Mayhew Phillips. Hanley Ainge. Samantha Morales. Ruth Monique Cabrera. Kurt Rafael Baraja. Yeah. Congratulations. Jack Doncy. Zoe Woolley. Ricardo Alexi Barros. Lauren Lambert. Shira Brandt. Brianna Nicole Brown. Kelly Christine Sturak. Jiyun Wu. Catherine Marie Danko. Kaylee Virginia Heyman. Nathan Thomas Duran. Yes, sir! <laughs> Uh, 
Amuliu Chen. Hyun Jiun Yoon. Eduardo Lara. Marisa De La Angeles Colon. Scott Andrew Brockish. Veronica Loren Berse Gaetano. Mandy Jade Alvarez. Jordan Cunningham. Melissa Jane Cravener. Victoria Cecilia Baca. Alexandra Vasiliki Wood. Kaylee M. Snyder. Jennifer D. Gallagher. Alyssa K. Walcos. Lorena Witte. Matthew Daniel Sisweta. Claire Cohen. Amanda Brooke Ramers. William Russell Pete. <clears throat> Sarah Brink. Skylar Jean Helly. Nikki Ray Baker. Jacqueline Isabel Folgar. Carrie Chris Chacon. Lynette Graham. Marissa Donaldson. Caitlin Marie Germain. Elizabeth Marie Yerman. Ashley Moss. Sherry Ashton. Cheryl Smart. Please join me in congratulating the undergraduate degree recipients in the School of Art. It is now my privilege to present the recipients of a bachelor's degree in the School of Arts, Media, and Engineering. Pavan Taraga, director of the school, will join Associate Dean Etheridge Woodson in congratulating you. Paxton D. Flieger. Jacob Thomas Pitaro. Anthony Josue Dominguez. 
Daniel Jesus Bernal. Andrew Scott Lee Fishburn. Carlos A. Barrios Garcia. And Nicole Obrakta. Ethan Grisham. Miguel Angel Botello Rodriguez. Zachary Wilmer. Curtis M. Holman. Ola Deji Odell Choloa. Ben Rivera. Trong Nan Win. Isaac Maldonado. Brielle Martinez Sain. Ada Ojanaogea Ashang Hardy. Please join me in congratulating the undergraduate degree recipients in the School of Arts, Media, and Engineering. It is now my privilege to present the recipients of a bachelor's degree in the School of Music, Dance, and Theater. Heather Landis, director of the school, will join Associate Dean Etheridge Woodson in congratulating you. Victor Manuel Ortiz. Bridget Renee Dunning. Brianna Marie McClure. Mordecai Tyler Joseph Garcia. Eric Olson. Sarah Haley Marie Scroggins. Chris Friend. Calvin Muggy. Colette Booker. Ramey Elizabeth Moore. Grant St. Clair. Peter Vazo III. Alexis Wilcox. Aaron Jacob DeGreyer. Helen James Hendricks. Marissa Elizabeth Ferreira. Grace Marie Wills. Jesus Lopez. Summer Hayes. Yushan Zhang. Yushan Chui.
Kobe Dean Chase Davenport. Hugo Crick Furman. Cassidy Grace Atkins. Sierra Paige Holly. Angie Stephanie Valencia. Juan Paul Porter. Okay. You bet. Please join me in congratulating the undergraduate degree recipients in the School of Music, Dance, and Theater. It is my, priv my privilege now to present the recipients of a bachelor's degree from the Design School. Paola Sanguinetti, director of the school, will join Associate Dean Etheridge Woodson in congratulating you. Lay White. Christine J. Andres. Michael Joshua Felix. Edwin Zargurian. Jordan Nicole Chisler. Ting Yu Rachel Lin. Christine Michelle Palmer. Giovanna Melissa Olivas. Jumana Al Saif. Amara Kai Bickerstaff. Mary Jane Pineda. Devin Elizabeth Martin. Miranda Ray Grimes. Princessita Scott. Ernest Edward Emmanuel Tonstall. Victor Isaiah Silva. Catherine Luz Serde. Please join me in congratulating the undergraduate degree recipients in the Design School. Congratulations. It is now my privilege to present the bachelor's degree recipients in the Sidney Poitier New American Film School. Peter Marietta, director in residence, of the school will join Associate Dean Etheridge Woodson in congratulating you. Kyle Lewis Cooper. Brandon Robert Caswell. Imani Adams. Jeremiah Griffin. Biani Brianne Knight. Stephanie Ceballos. Woo 
Sandra Basaldua Ramirez. Cameron Morris Rollins. Jose Ni Irizarry. Victoria Lynn Thomas. Luke Thomas Phillips. Mengyao Shao. Chi Chi Deng. Sheng Wan. Connor G. Newton. <laughs> Douglas Hamilton Lesher, Jr. <laughs> Ian Robert Grow. <laughs> Aaron Celine Tucker. Shannon Ray Sons. <laughs> Carla Sines. <laughs> Tyler Bree Bonchonsky. <laughs> Shalina Bianca Faf Baisan. Zachary Humans, <laughs> Javon Kylie Berry, <laughs> David Ian Lin, <laughs> Jordan Rayberger. Victoria V. Stout. Woo, Victoria! Gerardo Carrillo. <laughs> Alyssa Lene Barreda. <laughs> Shannon Nicole Ramsey. Cameron Alexander Klein. Emily Grace Brookhuizen. Please join me in congratulating the undergraduate degree recipients in the Sydney Poitier New American Film School. And now, will all undergraduate degree recipients please rise? Please join me in congratulating all the undergraduate degree recipients in the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts. Thank you all. You may be seated. Congratulations. Wow. We had some choreography problems, uh, so we're going to run it back through again, so if everybody just lines up. Um, congratulations to the ASU Herberger Institute Class of 2021. Woo!
We cannot wait to watch and see how you use all that you've gained here, all that creativity, that empathy, that persistence, all that failure, all those successes to continue to change lives, to build our culture, and to contribute to our public happiness. The world needs your talents. Please join me once again in congratulating all of our graduates this morning. Congratulations, everybody. So we ask that you honor our graduates by remaining seated until all the graduates have left the auditorium. And then graduates, you may meet your families and faculty uh, outside of Gamage Auditorium. As we conclude our presentation of the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts, December 2021 graduation, our faculty and staff have a few thoughts they want to share. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. You did it. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, graduates. We are so proud and excited for you. Congratulations on this monumental accomplishment. You're about to take your next step on a wonderful journey in your career. I want to thank you so much for allowing me to be a small part of your lives over the past four years. The incredible artistry and the beautiful creative thoughts that have been a part of your journeys here. You've done an amazing job these past many years and you've succeeded and excelled and have accomplished what a few people have and that has earned a degree during the time of a pandemic. Uh, you have had a really rough time of it, but you've made it through, you've succeeded. Uh, you deserve all the accolades you're gonna get today, enjoy it, and then go out and change the world, make it better. You have made strides, you are here to change the world. Continue to be bright lights. Best of luck on your next adventure. We know you'll do great things. Hats off to you, graduates.